Thanks for coming in. It's a waste of time. Maybe, maybe not. Take a seat. Lucky you know I'm not going to be able to answer any of your questions. How do you know if I haven't asked them yet? <sighs> What's your favorite color? What? You wear black all the time, is that it? Is it black? Yeah. It's... No, I don't, I don't have a favorite color. What kind of music do you like? Why are you asking me these stupid questions? Come on, Jason, everybody likes some kind of music. I mean, when you're tooling around in your SUV, black, I might point out. What are you listening to, huh? Are you an emo kind of guy? Death metal? You ever rapped? Where did you go when you were released from police custody on the night of November 2nd of this year? I have nothing to say without my attorney. I was with you that night, and I absolutely believe that when you left here, your sole intent was to find Carly and her baby and get them to safety. You weren't gunning for Claudia. So while Mac and everyone else just assumes that you killed her, I'm open to alternative scenarios. I'm here to see Detective Spencer. He's questioning a suspect. It could take a while. All right, I'll try and reach him later, thanks. What are you doing here? I'm here to see Lucky. Why? Talk to him about you. Maybe you want to ask to be taken off this case. You know, Mac didn't include you when the call came in about Claudia taking Carly hostage. I don't see why you should have to investigate the aftermath. I know all the suspects. I have access to information that other cops don't. And Mac seems to think that some of the witnesses, like Carly or Sam, might tell me the truth. You can say conflict of interest. I don't. Yet. I'm still just gathering information. Where did you go when you left the PCPD? Did you receive a phone call from Carly or Sam? Oh, lucky. I'm not... Listen, I don't want to insult you by sitting here just ignoring you. I cannot tell you anything. Look, I already wrote my report on this interview, okay? It states that you refuse to answer any questions, so this is off the record. Come on, man. Just tell me what you did after you left the PCPD. I went to look for Carly. And did you find her? Oh, come on, Lucky. I know you have a job to do, and I appreciate you're trying to give me the benefit of the doubt, but I can't answer your questions. You know, Jason, sometimes when people refuse to answer, they tell you everything you need to know. Maybe no one's ever explained this to you, but the idea of a justice system is to protect everyone. So no matter how many times you've broken the law, if you didn't break it this time, you're entitled to its protection. I can't help you. you. Can't help me. By the way, we retrieved that recording from Sonny's office. Our tech guys are authenticating it now. Claudia is clearly planning a murder. Think about that, Jason. If she were still alive, we could bring charges against her. You wouldn't be sitting here staring yet another murder investigation in the face. Don't you get tired of this? Yes, I'm tired of it. Well, I am too. That's why I thought maybe we could do things different this time. Claudia took Carly hostage at gunpoint. If someone killed her, there's a strong argument for justifiable homicide, but everything you're doing to cover it up, it just makes it look more like murder. You see how that works? All the denials are just digging you in deeper, man. I don't want you talking to Lucky about me for any reason. Yes, he keeps asking me if I know what's wrong with you. At some point, okay, then if Lucky's something. concerned, then he should talk to I me. I can't just refuse to speak to my brother. Well, you can be busy, or you can forget to take his calls. You don't have to show up here at his place of work. Why are you here? I am dropping off a picture Cameron made for his daddy. See what this is? It is Jake, Cameron, Lucky, and me. Our happy family. I respect you. You don't abuse your power, you don't use your badge to shove people around, and I, I genuinely believe that you were interested in finding the truth, but sometimes the truth causes more damage. Claudia is gone. There is no proof. 
So you can sit there and ask me questions all you want, and I'm going to refuse until my attorney shows up, and when it's gone on long enough, somebody's going to come in here and grab this file and put it in a box and forget that Claudia Zakara ever existed, and that's what she deserves. I know you didn't kill Claudia, Jason. But you know who did. There's proof of that somewhere. And no matter how well you think you've buried it, it's gonna come out. It always does.